Hello everyone, ever since the last character AI update announcement, I was looking into some really good alternatives, and today, I'm gonna share some of the best ones I found so far. Stick around because at the end of the video, I'm gonna rank every alternative we cover in this video. First up, we have Craveview AI. When I arrived at the website, I had to select the gender I was interested in. I choose both since that gives me more options. If you change your mind, you can select again at the top right corner. There are also categories that you can include and exclude, which is super cool. So if you're interested in roleplay, or maybe even something romantic and submissive, you have the option to choose that. I was a bit annoyed that my name is gibberish, so I decided to change that. There you go, that's more like it. You can also add a profile picture and edit your bio if you want. Now that we're done with that, I decided to go back to the dashboard and search for some characters. I clicked on Eric since he caught my attention the most. I love this chat background. It looks so cool. I started talking to him to check what it feels like, and I immediately got hooked into this scenario. Eric offered me warmth. I was curious about this button here, so I clicked it. Turns out this is where you can choose between models, but it looks like there's nothing to choose from. On the right side of the screen, you have some settings, and under that, there are two PRO options you can enable, Auto Scene Snap and Turbo Scene Snap. This generates images inside chat. They also have cash rewards for creators. So there are also ways you can even earn money from them and their subscription. That's pretty cool. If you like creating characters, this will definitely be a good fit for you. They offer three payment plans, Essential, Pro, and Ultimate. Prices vary, but as previously mentioned, there's a way you can get that for free. Under the bonus, if you invite 30 people, they will award you with an essential plan that's more than enough to chat with characters, in my opinion. Moving on, our next alternative is called Dream Gen. This is their main page. When you log in, you're directed here, where you have quick access to roleplay, writing stories, and images. Yes, finally, we can create some images. I'm excited. But let's cover the one that we're mostly interested in, roleplay. From what I can see, there are a lot of scenarios featuring multiple characters at once. I always wanted a group chat. I love Attack on Titan, so I decided to click on Ackerman Legacy. Here, we have to create our persona, so of course, I quickly did that, even added my picture. Now we're in, and it already looks amazing. I immediately noticed you can edit responses, and that's a cool feature if my bots aren't acting normal for some reason. I introduced myself and said I love them. The conversation was smooth, and it kind of felt like I was actually there. I did immerse myself. Then, I didn't like their response, but instead of editing it, I decided to use the instructions feature. And this was literally what I always wanted. Works just like it should. On the right side, we have some settings. There's a lot, but I think these settings are already good, so don't edit anything unless you really want to test the limits. Now the image generation. There are other models, but let's test this one. I decided to show you different types of images so you can see everything that's possible with image generation. These look amazing. This fox is my favorite. So cute. You can also create stories and your own scenarios with as many characters as you want. Yeah, crazy. I'm so hooked with this one and I wanna dig deeper, but we have to move on to the next alternative soon. You can use DreamGen for free, but they have paid options as well. It's not that expensive and I think it's worth it. Let me know in the comments if we should do another giveaway, but with DreamGen subscription next. Pygmalion AI. This is their landing page and just like with DreamGen, once you create your account, you will be redirected here. There are a lot of characters here, but they don't offer a scenario with multiple characters. However, they all look cute and amazing. Since I'm a Harry Potter fan, I decided to go with Sirius Black. There's a character card you can read through, as well as some information. But we are interested in chatting, so let's click the chat button. I was confused and it took me a couple of minutes to realize you have to click this pink button next to the character to start the actual conversation. There we go. I introduced myself to Sirius 
when he asked me about the current state of affairs in Hogwarts. But I decided to ask his opinion first. Then I kind of wanted to see if he could talk a bit dirty and flirty with me. He refused, but he is not against it. I can see that. I was playing around with him, and I kind of liked that he is not immediately submissive. But I wanted to check what else they have like others, on the right side of the screen, they have a lot of options from fonts, text sizes, message styles, and colors. You can also add a background to your chat, so that's cool, I like that. Their interface is also simple and characters are easy to find. Now, as for the pricing, they offer a low cost and a premium edition, where you have access to everything. Now let's rank every alternative we just covered. I will compare them, add points, and rank them by a few factors that I think are very important. Let me pull a graph that I created for this. So, these factors will be interface, roleplay experience, performance and speed, image generation, other features, value for price. And once we add these points, I'm gonna have a better view of what alternative is the best alternative. I'm excited. Let's start with the interface. Cravo AI looks cute. Their interface is easy to handle. And I really liked a part where they asked me what I'm interested in. Everything looks easy. I really like the background for chats and enjoyed looking at it while chatting. For that reason, I have to award a point to Cravo AI. Now DreamGen. I really liked their logo, and discovering characters felt really good to me, and easy. However, something didn't click regarding the style. The site has a lot of unused space, but maybe it's the fact that they have a lot going on in terms of the features they offer. I think character creation and persona interface should be improved, therefore I can't give DreamGen a point for that. Pygmalion AI slightly better in terms of user interface, but when chatting, it also feels a bit off, and I had some trouble starting the chat since they don't exactly show you how to do that. You have to click around to find it yourself. Unfortunately, no points here. This category can be overlooked because the next one is one of the most important categories we're gonna cover, and that's roleplay experience. Create View AI was fun to play around with, but I didn't feel such a connection, even though Eric did make me feel nice. There are no other models and things to play around with, so I'm not gonna give Create View points this round. Dream Gen was one of the most interesting experiences I've had so far. Chats really made me feel like I was talking to them directly, and I enjoyed having the instructions, as well as the option to edit their responses. Not to mention that group chat. So perfect. I was so happy that I could talk to multiple characters at once. Point to Dream Gen. Pygmalion was also a fun chat experience. Sirius was really kind to me. Even when I wanted him to be slightly naughty, I was enjoying the overall experience. Sure, I could say that Dream Gen's roleplay experience was way better, but I'm gonna have to award Pygmalion some points on this one as well. Next up is performance and speed. Cravo I was pretty decent in speed, as well as Dream Gen and Pygmalion. I think it's only fair to award everyone points on that because I didn't experience lag or slow generations. Now the image generation, Neither Cravo nor Pygmalion offer image generation, and I feel like that's a huge bummer, because I like having everything in one place. On the other hand, DreamGen offers one of the best image generations I have experienced. Yes, I also did some NSFW image generations off the camera, but don't judge me, I had to test it out. DreamGen wins this one by far. Other features. Crayview AI doesn't really offer anything other than just chatting and creating characters, and that might be enough for some of you, but there's one thing they do offer, 
and it's the bonuses. You can literally earn stuff if you're a creator and if you invite people. So since others don't have that, I think it's fair to give a point here. Dream Gen has tons of features. I mean, seriously. You can create your scenarios, stories, characters, and group chats. And they have image generation, as well as other stuff that we didn't cover yet, but I think we'll have to go back one day. Overall, I can say that they offer everything. They get a point. Pygmalion is offering even less than Cravo. I feel like it's just a basic chat experience and nothing else. Similar to Cravo, but at least they offer some bonuses. Therefore, no point for Pygmalion. Last but not least, value for price. Crave you AI was a really nice experience, and I think it's worth trying out, especially since you can do quite a bit of chatting with the free version, but I think their subscription is not that expensive, and I could recommend testing it out for a month. Now, DreamGen is on another level. They have an amazing free tier experience that no one else offers. Their whole chat experience is just amazing, and given the fact that they have tons of features like image generation, writing stories, having the ability for group chats, and many more. I think it's safe to say that the value for price is fantastic. Pygmalion was an okay experience, but I don't think that the value for the price is worth it. Sure, you can test it out. They have low cost option for that, but they just don't have enough features that could justify their price. Maybe one day they will add enough features and interesting stuff that could validate that price. But for now, I just can't give a point here. I'm sorry. Well, we finally covered all the points in each category, and I hope it was fun for you as much as it was fun for me. DreamGen is definitely a winner here, but I just hope they do something about their user interface. If they worked on that, I think everyone would switch to DreamGen. Maybe they will one day, but regardless, their features are so good that I think they compensated in that area. What do you think about this? Do you agree with me? Or would you rank this slightly different? Let us all know in the comments. Names and links of the alternatives will be provided in the description and the comments section, so you can check them all out by yourself. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you all in the next video.